Hey guys, this is Pico from your local Tech Labs Berlin team, and we're excited to be here with you guys today through this uh, screencast and share the most important stuff about Tech Labs Berlin uh, with you. Um, I'm excited to be here today with uh, Zara. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. I'm also co-founder of Tech Labs Berlin, and yeah, we will like now guide you through the most important information to uh, make application easy for you. Exactly. Uh, just a, um, some quick ideas about what you can expect um, in this idea cast. First of all, we'll give you a, a short idea about Tech Labs Berlin. Um, after that, we'll um, talk about the Berlin Tech Labs program, as well as g uh, giving you an overview of our tracks. Um, then quickly dive into the application process and um, after that, tell you how you can basically hand in your FAQs via Instagram, Facebook and whatever um, so that we can be sure to answer all your questions that you have. Um, yeah, first of all, let's start with why Tech Labs exists. Basically, Tech Labs idea is to provide young people with a platform where they can learn state of the art tech skills and use these skills to order um, and solve the problems of our time in an entrepreneurial and digital fashion. And this is basically the core of what Tech Labs is. And this is what we want to inspire you um, as students of Tech Labs. Um, Tech Labs was started in 2017 in Münster um, in Germany um, with the basic idea that there are a lot of cool online courses online, but people just don't feel like doing these courses um, because there's no social incentive and no community background um, that sort of helps them to do these tracks. And um, this sort of concept of Tech Labs of incorporating this community aspect um, and a project aspect and some other uh, features too has led us to be quite successful over time. Um, and so far, we've been able to educate more than 400 young um, technology enthusiasts and most recently also launch our uh, boot at home camp in light of Corona, uh, where we were able to um, invite over 1,000 participants um, for this boot camp from uh, over 52 countries, uh, which we think is quite cool and which, of course, will boost our numbers. Um, to give you a quick idea about our digital shaper program, um, as I explained before, um, the program consists of the online learning component uh, where we sort of personalize online courses for you and tell you, okay, given this um, your stand of knowledge right now in, for example, data science, you should do this track and then you should look at this YouTube video or maybe you should do a challenge um, in between. And we sort of enhance this online experience, um, which is provided on our platform Educated, by the way, um, through a local online community. Um, so we have a specific Slack community for Tech Labs Berlin. And in theory, uh, if it not were for Corona, we would have some offline talks and offline um, events with you guys. Um, but we've nevertheless decided to sort of host these events online for now and have made some good experience with uh, the other locations um, of Tech Labs so far um, about actually having fun online. Um, in times of Corona. And yeah, the last part of the digital shaper program is the project work uh, where you would get to implement your own project idea, uh, support, uh, will be supported by some mentors and can actually see how to implement uh, what you've learned throughout the online learning and the local community events. We have four tracks. Um, the first one being data science, second one artificial intelligence. And then if you guys want to learn how to create your own personal web page, you would do the web development track. And uh, lastly, we fortunately, since last semester, also have the user experience design where you can learn um, how to design anything really um, in a manner that is um, friendly to the user and sort of understands the needs of the user. All of these tracks will be for free. Um, exactly. So just to give you a quick impression about um, the past semesters of Tech Labs and how we've evolved um, since 2017. As I said, Tech Labs was um, started in 2017. Um, and over time, we were able to launch two locations and Copenhagen and Barcelona. Um, and 
this year we're able to are are still opening up um, three locations in Germany, one being Berlin ourselves um, and the other two Dortmund and Aachen. And also, um, quite fortunately, have been able to open two locations in South America, um, in Curitiba and Medellin. So quite cool development over time, uh, just because we've seen how much fun it is for um, people all over the world, really, um, to learn tech together and um, see how one can apply these skills um, to work on some of the world's problems. For the Berlin location, we have decided to cooperate with Microsoft um, and Microsoft will offer an amazing location in the Microsoft Digital e after the uh, Corona crisis. And uh, the time being will also support us uh, with uh, the Microsoft network and some free Microsoft certificates and trainings that you can absolve in addition to the TechLips um, certificate. And yeah, sadly, we also have to talk about the coronavirus um, as it's um, just everywhere right now. Um, and we have decided to host all our events online um, until at least the 30th of May. And after that, we'll, um, we evaluate, um, given how the situation in Germany will be um, at that time. Uh, we nevertheless, as I said before, want to stick to our meeting formats. So we will have some sort of socials and uh, workshops um, that are sort of uh, currently being developed by our global journey team and have also been tested already um, in the Coded Home Bootcamp. Um, and it seems like it still is uh, a lot of fun for these people and um, it actually uh, impacts their learning in a positive way. So this is why we decided that we want to keep these um, meeting formats too. Um, and um, once you have applied and are part of the... Um, Tech Lab semester in Berlin, uh, we'll give you more information um, on our kickoff event. After we have um, given you a quick impression about Tech Labs, um, our mission and how we envision to sort of get this into place in Berlin, uh, we now like to give you a quick overview about the Tech Labs semester and tell you what you can expect um, as a techie at Tech Labs. Um, so the semester uh, will start with the orientation week uh, where we will present the program and the tracks um, in a deeper level um, for you and also sort of discuss with you uh, what your previous knowledge um, about the specific subjects are. And um, you will only after this have to ch uh, choose uh, or finally choose your track that you intend to um, study uh, throughout the semester. And after that uh, orientation week, the Tech Labs Academy basically starts, uh, which is uh, the safe learning period um, where we will give you um, personalized online learning content uh, through the educated platform, uh, which we'll talk later about um, for a bit. Um, and you will basically um, have a limited or a given amount of tracks you will have to um, do throughout the semester and you can just choose on uh, your own timeline uh, when you want to do these uh, tracks and basically study on your own. Nevertheless, we'll have regular meetings with the Tech Labs community. Um, first of all, online, later, hopefully offline in person too, for you to check in um, with us and check in with the community, discuss how you're doing, talk to another person that is, for example, doing data science, if you're doing that as well, um, and just see how you're doing and sort of um, yeah, maybe get some hints um, and that kind of stuff. And after five weeks um, in the Tech Labs Academy, you'll then sort of start working on your own project already, uh, conceptualize uh, what you want to do, talk with our mentors um, if that's possible, or if that's maybe still too high given the degree of knowledge you have achieved until then. Um, and then we'll start working on your project and might finalize um, the last tracks. Um, of your um, learning track, um, yes. And after that, um, you'll be able to receive the Tech Labs Digital Shaper Certificate and then join our Tech Labs alumni community, which as you saw at the beginning is growing and growing. Um, might be able to do something at the Microsoft online community um, or maybe apply for the next um, track at Tech Labs for the next semester. A quick overview about the digital um, shaper certificate because this has sort of been a point of discussion in the past semesters. Um, 
the way we handle it is that we sort of offer you the digital um, Schaefer certificate and award you with it. Um, after you have officially uh, uh, finished your project, and also um, we'd like to, you and your group to publish a blog article on Medium so that we have sort of one final statement um, that um, you can share with the community and also um, we'll uh, host an in-person event um, where you can present your project results and show what you've achieved in this uh, short amount of time. And now quickly um, focusing on the dates um, of the semester. Um, so we're here today at the info session. Um, and after this, tonight already, our application phase will open. Um, and it will be open for eight, eight days, um, so until the 17th. So please mark that in your calendar. Um, and after that, just three days after, um, the orientation week um, of Tech Labs will start, where we'll have the kickoff event, where you'll discuss and choose uh, which tracks you eventually want to take. Um, and this is uh, at the end of April. And after that, the Tech Labs Academy will start um, with a weekly or maybe biweekly social events and um, some online talks uh, we're hosting for you guys. Um, and then on the 8th of June, um, the project phase will start. Um, and we plan for you to finish this project phase by the um, 19th of uh, July. And then finally, we'll have the hack night um, where you'll present your um, results and um, show what you've achieved in this short amount of time at the hack night. Um, so as you can see, it's only three months, um, but we believe you can really learn a lot of stuff during this time. And yeah, sort of already in three months, uh, we'll be able to incorporate and implement and also present your own project. Hi guys, uh, a warm welcome again from my side. Um, thank you very much that you take the time today to listen to this screen uh, cast. And um, yeah, we're super happy that you're interested in uh, doing the Tech Labs batch with us. So what I will do today is um, guide you through the tracks that Tech Labs is offering to give you upfront some information, um, what kind of content uh, you can choose from so that you can already make up your mind what might be most interesting for you. As already mentioned, um, we are offering four tracks. Um, the first one being data science, the second one artificial intelligence, um, we have a web development track and we have a user experience track. And what I will do now is like go through each of them and just give you like some hints uh, what you will learn during these tracks and um, yeah, give you some hints also um, for whom these tracks might be particularly interesting. Um, I will start with the data science track. So the data science track is um, about machine learning, coding, and um, everything that is related to numbers. So if you have a knack for numbers, this is probably the track for you. Um, data scientists are one of the professions most in demand um, right now, as you might know. So yeah, if you're interested in this track and you want to like get going and go in this direction and you think about a career um, in this field, anything related to data, this is uh, a great place to start actually. Um, our data scientist track will uh, encompass like three things. Uh, one are the most important machine learning algorithms and the mathematical, mathematical concepts behind that. Um, you might have already heard that there is supervised learning and unsupervised learning uh, in machine learning. This is just like, yeah, subsets of algorithms uh, in this domain, um, in, like uh, including algorithms like classification algorithms, regression algorithms, uh, clustering algorithms. And we will give you the basics on that. Um, on the other hand, you will also learn the coding basics. So we make sure that you know how to program, um, that you know how to import data, uh, how to do a data exploration and visualization, and how to like clean your data sets. And um, you will be able to combine all of that with your personal experiences, like whatever field you're interested in, um, latest in your project work, you can like bring that per particular knowledge that you have in and like, yeah, work on a topic that is particularly interesting for you. Um, we There's like basically two possibilities to, um, code in the data science track. One is the language Python and the other one is the language R. Uh, both of them have advantages and disadvantages. 
Um, Python is the more popular one amongst uh, enterprises and yeah, there's higher demand in the job market and some say it's a little easier. Um, R is usually a little more used in academia. Uh, both are for free and you can choose like between both of them. We will offer you um, both to you and yeah, you can pick whatever makes more sense to you and uh, your particularly um, learning journey. So um, our second track is the artificial intelligence track. Uh, artificial intelligence is like one of the buzzwords uh, at, at the moment. Um, so you might have heard about uh, concepts like image recognition, natural language processing, content creation. Um, yeah, there's like tons of stuff you can do with artificial intelligence. Um, Usually it is more of like many of these applications um, are a little more advanced. So if you have no previous knowledge in that domain, we would strongly recommend to start with the data science uh, track first um, before starting with artificial intelligence. But if you already have a solid understanding um, of data and like understand like the mathematical concepts behind that, then you can directly jump into our artificial intelligence track. Um, as you can see, like we will definitely do a short recap about the most important machine learning uh, concepts as well, but it will be much shorter than in our data science track. And then we will move into more advanced uh, concepts like deep learning um, and things like that. Um, yeah, there's a super high demand for everything related to artificial intelligence, and it has like super important applications uh, in, in many companies, like from Facebook uh, to Netflix to like uh, companies like German companies like KUKA, uh, everybody is, is using artificial intelligence and you might be working on topics like autonomous driving, um, voice recognition systems and like, yeah, tons of things you can do with that. Um, yeah, exactly. So this is like a short overview of what we will teach in, in this in this track, actually. So we will give you the Python and the um, machine learning um, concepts uh, as a recap um, and then move into more advanced concepts like deep learning and algorithm theory. So we are covering um, different neural nets and yeah, all of that will be covered by our platform Educated, which I will talk a, a little more about later. Um, our third track is our web development track. Um, web development is all about like really produce, like really working on a product. Like it might be a website, it might be an app. Like it's just like if you if you want to build something, this is probably the track for you. Um, we are like using uh, different tools for that. So basically, web development has like a front end part and a back end part. The front end part is everything that is visible to the user of the application. And we are using tools like HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, React, Node. Um, you might have heard about these things or not. Like all of this is included in our web development track and we'll give you an introduction on how to use these tools so that you will be able to really create something uh, after your self-learning phase. So if you're choosing the web development track, you have like tons of opportunity to uh, for your final project. You can work on, on a mobile app, you can work on a desktop app, you can even program a drone actually. So whatever is in your mind, you will be um, able to make it happen. Um, our last track that we are offering is our user experience design track that we just added to our portfolio. Um, as the name is already suggesting, it is our least technical uh, track, which is all about user uh, experience design, which means how to design a product that it's easy for a user um, to, to use and like fulfilling all of his requirements. Um, so everybody knows this example, actually. So if whenever we are buying a route, like whenever we're getting a remote control for like any kind of, um, of, of product, like a TV or whatever, we'll have tons of buttons that we actually don't know what they are for. And if anybody would have taken the time to um, understand like what the user is feeling whenever, whenever he's using this remote, this product would have looked like significantly different and we would have reduced it to just like really a number of buttons 
um, that are clear, like just the volume and like how to change between channels instead of like this vast amount of buttons that we are having on, on most of our remote controls. Um, so what is actually important about user experience design? Um, one of the key learnings is that empathy is really, really crucial, which means you need to be able to really feel what the user is feeling at that moment and understand his problems, his issues, and what he really, really wants in the product. Um, another learning is that user design is not only, a uh, user experience is not only relevant for software, it's also important about hardware, as we, as we have just seen um, about the remote control. Um, it is also really noteworthy that uh, good UX can actually increase a product's worth significantly. Like whenever a user can choose between two products, he will always tend towards the one that is easy to use. And um, it is also just really a great feeling to make technology accessible for someone. Um, so what will we teach in our UX uh, course? So the first, like the prerequisites for good UX is just understand who is the target user, what kind of problems does he have, and how do we translate these requirements into our system? Um, the typical design proce uh, process is um, that you start with really understanding what is the, the UX pro uh, problem and coming up with ideas and solutions. And you will then translate these ideas into general requirements. And after like having packaged these ideas, you will de start developing wireframes. Wireframes is like really just the first rough draft on how the, the UX of the final product may look like. Um, after the wireframes, you will translate these into prototypes. Uh, prototypes can be anything. It, I mean, it can be a website or a click dummy, actually, but it might even be a paper um, prototype, actually, like de really depending on what kind of product you're designing. And um, with these prototypes, you will actually go to the user and test it and see what kind of reaction he's giving to be able to implement his feedback and improve the product continuously. Um, yeah, so this is the, the 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 user testing domain, which is really really crucial for good UX. You will usually have like several loops, um, always like coming up with a prototype, testing it with the user, getting his feedback, and then going into another circle. Um, and we will also really just give you a sneak peek into the programming basic. Um, so it's not the focus of the track, but we will you will give like get an insight um, how you would actually translate this into code. Yeah, that were our that was our four tracks actually. Um, to like give you a little more of an overview, we will shortly um, give you some insights on our platform. Educated, educated is the platform that we're using. That whenever you are joining a tech labs um, community, uh, in our case, our tech labs Berlin community, you will get access to educated, and that will provide you with free resources for whatever track you have chosen. Um, so this is like just a screenshot on how this might look like, actually. This is actually my account, as you can see. So um, once you are um, permitted into our program, you will have like, like one week of uh, orientation to decide what kind of track you would like. And yeah, you will have all of your resources on this platform. Um, how does this look like, actually? So you will get like really a personalized track for you. This, for example, is my personal AI track, actually. Um, yeah, you can see here pretty much what kind of subjects um, we will be covering. And then you will go through like all of your sessions pretty much like as you might know from, from most other online courses, um, you will just like follow your program and step by step it will lead you to your goal of being able to really go into the project phase and create your own products. Um, yeah, the really special thing about our platform is actually that you will get a personalized track, as we have already mentioned. Um, and this is how it works, actually. So we would go through a very detailed questionnaire and like really assessing what kind of previous knowledge you are bringing uh, to the platform to make sure that you are not bored, but also not like really um, that we don't overwhelm you with content on the other side, but that we really get the content that is just right for you. All right, and with that, we hope uh, to have answered um, the most basic questions you've had about um, tech labs and that you're now ready to apply uh, for our semester. How do you do that, you might ask yourself. So the application is live right now and will be live until the 17th of April um, so that you have plenty of time to apply. And um, 
the application process itself. Um, for that, you have to visit our Tech Labs website, uh, which you can find here and also on all our other social media um, presences. And you click on this shiny little button, apply now. And um, this will open a type form uh, where you can show us why you have the drive to um, join the Tech Lab semester in Berlin, what you want to do with the uh, skills you learn and how you want to use these skills um, yeah, to self solve some challenges in this world. And um, after that, you just click on apply now and we'll get back to you uh, within three days after the application deadline. Uh, so by the 20th of April, um, you can expect to hear back from us. And that will be it uh, for you. Okay, guys, that was our information session. Thanks for um, staying tuned, actually. If you still have questions, we will provide you with a live FAQ session um, next Tuesday, the 14th of April at 8 p.m. Um, if you have any questions that you want to send us in advance, just click on the link in our notes below this video um, and send us your questions up front. Or you can just join live and yeah, ask your questions then. Uh, we are super excited to see you next Tuesday. And um, yeah, we hope to have as many of you as possible in our batch in Berlin. <laughs>